Deeply tied to our history and national identity, these horses live in our imagination as iconic symbols of American freedom and independence. This country was built on the backs of the ancestors of the horses that are fighting for their lives today. A controversy a roundup of wild horses is underway in Nevada. Activists are saying they are systematically being eliminated. Federal government says it is simply trying to control the population. This horse, Magic, was at the killer feedlot in Fallon, Nevada, waiting to be shipped to slaughter. Worldwide, there's a big market for horse meat in areas of Europe and the Pacific Rim. I have a lot of uh, problem, you know, trying to work myself through that, that proposition. But there's most certainly a market. Originally, he was a wild horse living on BLM land, and then somehow ended up at the killer buyer's feedlot. When their numbers get out of control, then it's hard on everybody, and most hard on the land. We're talking about an environment, an ecosystem that can be destroyed or made better, depending on what we do, you know. So in a perfect scenario, all of these different demands that are on the same land can be fulfilled. We just can't let the wild horse run free and run everybody else off. You wouldn't want to kill a cow in India. And for some reason, horses are seen that way here in the United States. I can't think of a greater gift to give any wild horse than to just let him go. Let him go. Be a horse.